Hi students, welcome to Baiju's 9th and 10th channel. I am your teacher Ankita and all of you are achievers. I welcome you in today's class. As you can see from the topic that what we'll be learning in today's class. All of you were asking about this important topic and we understand that this topic is really very important from the exam point of view. So here we are with the tissues chapter. So in today's class we'll be discussing about what are tissues. Or we can say that it's a brief introduction to the chapter's tissue. So let's get started. Now we know that tissues plays a very important role in our lives and of course we know that it's really very important from the exam point of view so we'll be discussing about that. Now that is clear I would request you to all have your notebooks and your pen so that you can note down the important points that we'll be discussing in today's class. And on that note let's get started. Before we start learning about this particular interesting topic let me tell you about the Baiju's mini learning program. Now you can avail these amazing classes if you use the code YTFREE and this offer is there only till the end of the 17th of July. So it's really very close. If you haven't tried already, use this code YTFREE to avail these classes. The link of this is there in the description box below so please do try it out. In these classes we have two teacher models where of course there are two teachers who will be teaching you. You can actually plan your own schedule. You can pick the timing of your own classes. There are personal mentors for you, we have live interactive classes and of course we'll be getting the test assignments and the quizzes. Don't forget to use the code YTFREE and I'm telling you again this offer is there only till the 17th of July. So please try it out today only. Moving ahead, we have the telegram group, right? We know that it's really very interesting where we put out the session notes, session updates, quiz questions and homework questions also. So the link of the group is also in the description box below. Join the group today if you haven't already. Now let's clear out everything. We have discussed about the important points. Now let's talk about the content for today's class. Over here we have the important topics that we'll be discussing in today's class. Of course, first we'll be discussing about the tissues and it's the proper definition. Then of course we'll be discussing about the level of the organization which is really very important then different types of tissues right and of course why do plants and animals have different types of tissues it's a very important question and I'm sure you must have seen this question in the question paper also this is a very important question so we are clear with the content that will what we'll be learning in today's class so let's get started when we talk about tissues right what comes to your mind now of course we have just finished the first chapter that is a fundamental unit of life and we all are aware about the cell right we all know what cell is. Now, if we take up the cell, right, and when we put these cells together, we will be getting the tissue. That's easy, right? Really very easy for us to put it out there. So over here, let me just change this pen color. So if we have these cells, right, now we have, let me just make it, over here we have one cell with the nucleus, right? And of course, when we have more cells put together, Right, and they'll be doing a certain set of function, a specific function, we call it as a tissue. So, the definition of it will be a group of cells having similar shape and function acts together to perform a specific function is known as a tissue. Very important definition, so please take a note of this. Of course, over here we have the muscular tissue and of course we have the, you know, blood over here and of course we have the connective tissue. We know that blood is a connective tissue. We'll be learning more about it, so don't worry. So we have these two important examples with us, right? So we are clear that what is a tissue. Now let's understand that how these tissues will be coming together and will be forming some other important organs and how we will be getting into the picture. So let's talk about it. So over here we have a boy. Now we'll be using an analogy to understand more about the tissues. So here we go. So we can see over here a boy. So we can compare this boy with the cell, right? This, a single cell in a body. So of course he is a student over here and we are just comparing it with the cell. Okay. Now of course where the students sits in the school, right? We know that they sit in a classroom. So over here when we talk about it, we have these, right? So we have different set of, right? students in the class and of course these will be coming together and will be forming a tissue we can say that right then of course we have the class and of course we have different classes all together right we have maybe ninth grade we have different sections of it different different sections will be there so they will be forming it and all of these sections together not just the ninth grade but all the 10th from 1st to 10th then maybe 11th 12th also all of it will be making up the school 
Interesting, right? So we started with the cell, then tissues, then we have the organs, organ systems and the organism. Now if we talk about the schools, we have students, right? They'll be forming a classroom, we have different sections of it, then of course we have the school, right, as in general. So we have all of that same flow. So when we talk about the organization, the level of organization we have in this particular way. First we have the cells, right? Just a minute, let me just change the pen color over here. So we have the cells, right? They will be coming together and they will be forming the tissues. Now, of course, different types of cells will be there and they'll be coming together and forming tissues. Now, there are two important points that we have to remember. One, of course, that similar types of cells will also be coming together. And, of course, there are chances that different types of cells might come together. Right, and they will be forming the tissues. So this is really very important for us to understand. So cells will be coming together and forming the tissues. Tissues will be coming together and forming the organs. Like of course we have liver, intestine, stomach, pancreas. Then these organs will be coming together and will be forming an organ system. Like we have digestive system, respiratory system, circulatory system, excretory system and so on. And these organ system will be making an organism like you and me. So we have different types of organ system in our body. Let's go back from the organism. We have different organ systems. We have different organs in our organ systems. These organs are made up of tissues. And of course, when we talk about the tissues, tissues are made up of cells. So that's the level of organization we have. And we should remember this. Again, a very important question for two marks, which is usually asked in the examination. Now, the question that usually asks is what, why is this level of organization important? So it's really very important, right? Because we understand that a cell alone will not be able to do a lot of these functions, right? And we, being a multicellular organism, we need different types of uh, cells and tissues to do a certain set of functions. So that's how this whole level of organization plays a very important role in the life of multicellular organisms. Now that we have cleared that important part, let's move ahead and let's talk about the different types of tissues that we'll be studying in this whole chapter. So we have tissues and we will be broadly discussing the tissues of the animal and of plants. In animals, we have four important types. We have first, which is epithelial tissue, right? Then we have the next one that is the connective tissue. Then we'll be discussing about the muscular tissue and last, but then the, not the least, we'll be discussing about the nervous tissue. Then in plants, we have two important. We have the moristomatic tissue and then the permanent tissue. So broadly, we'll be discussing about these. We'll be going into the details also. So don't worry. And we know that these all are really very important. So we will be coming out with the classes. So I want you, all of you to be a part of that and learn along with us. Now that this is clear, right, that we have different types of tissues, be it the plant or the animal, let's understand a very important question. I mentioned in the beginning only, there is a very common question asked in the examination that why do plants and animals have different types of tissue? So let's address that particular question over here. Now I want you to think about that, how plants and animals look now. You can imagine as a, animals, you can just imagine us only and any plant. They stand at a place, right? They don't move. So that's a very important difference between a plant and any organism, right? So we talk about the first difference is a locomotion. So plants and animals have different tissues because of the first reason that we have is a locomotion. The plants don't have to move. They are not like us, right? They, they don't move from one place to another like we do. We move from a classroom to other classroom. We move actually from our home to the school and so on. So we need locomotion in our life. And that actually help us in gathering the food, water, etc. So we know the importance of the movement per se. So we have the movement in the body, right? That's important. That's a very first reason why there's a different types of tissues in plants and the animal. That's the locomotion or the movement. Let's talk about the second, which is very, very evident in both plants and in the animals, is the growth. Now, when we talk about the plants, I'm sure you must have seen, they will be very tiny and they'll grow into a big tree. And of course, when we talk about the humans, we were very small at one part, uh, right, at one point in our time, in a lifetime. And now, of course, we all are kind of grown up and will be growing up ahead. So the growth also is different in 
both the plants and the animals and that's why they need different types of tissues. In plants, right, they will be keep on growing. Of course, there is a repair of the cells which happens in us also. But when we talk about the growth, the growth is different in the plants and the animals. So that's again a very important point that gives us the answer. Talking about the next important point that why the plant and the animal tissues are different is of course of the metabolic activities that we have and how our body functions altogether. When we talk about the transportation, like if we talk in terms of the plants, of course they take the water right from the roots, right? And of course the water comes from the soil, enters into the roots and there goes to the different parts, right? Over here we can see and of course in that whole process there are various different processes that happens. Now these processes that are happening are not so dependent on the energy. Majority of them will be like diffusion, osmosis and there, there is a requirement of ATP but when it comes in comparison to the animals the requirement is less. So that's again very important point, right? Whereas if we talk about in humans the respiration we do is really very important to make right to break down the food and generate the energy out of it so that's a main difference in terms of the plants and animals and that's the main reason why we have different types of tissues so that's a very important moving to the next point which just makes plants and animals totally opposite to each other of course we know that plants can make their own food right they are autotrophs. They are capable of making their own food by the process of photosynthesis. They just need a raw material like carbon dioxide and water which is out there in the environment. And of course from there in the presence of the sunlight and in chlorophyll, they will be able to make their carbohydrates right, which is actually a food for them. And of course in that process, there is a release of the oxygen. When we talk about animals, oh, we have the heterotrophs, right? We are the heterotrophs and we have an uh, need to obtain the nutrient, right? Because we cannot prepare the nutrient or the nutrition of the food by ourselves. So we will be taking it from other organisms. So in that way, we are dependent on the others for the food and the requirements in the food are the needs that we have in our body is different from these that of the plant. So that's an important reason why there's a difference between the tissues. So of course in humans, right, if we talk about us, we have digestive system. Now all of this have different organs and of course we'll be making an organ system and of course we have a different tissues. So that's again a very important point that we have to remember when we are uh, discussing about the difference between the plant and the animal tissues. So we have covered up all the important points that why the plants and animals have different tissues altogether. First of course is the movement, then of course the growth, the need of the energy and of course the nutrition. So all of these are a major difference that we have in plants and animals and that is the reason why we have different types of tissues. I hope that you have noted down this important concept because it's really, really very important. And with this, I can say that we are done with our today's class. I hope that you have enjoyed. Coming back to a very quick recap of the Baiju's mini learning program. Don't forget to avail this amazing offer. Use the code YTFREE. The offer is ending on 17th of July. You know how interesting and amazing this is. And you know that we have got you covered. We will be coming up with amazing videos for the chapter tissues. Well, lots and lots of information that will be helping all of us to ace the, this interesting and super important chapter. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit, like, hit the like button. Share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us when you hit the like button for the video. And don't forget to write in the comment section. And do tell us that what uh, more kind of videos you want us to you know, put out on the channel. What are the important topics you want us to cover in this particular chapter. So we'll be reading out your comments. So don't forget to you know, write in the comment section below. With that, I'll say bye-bye to you. Take care of yourself. Lots of love and keep on learning with Baijus.